I don't know if you guys noticed that, but when I switched my butt position, I just tapped the back seat a little bit and all of a sudden the rear seat popped off. So it wasn't securely fastened for some reason. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a fun route down to bike night tonight. Going solo today, so figured I'd take the fun road. Roads, not hit the fucking pothole. There we go. Hopefully my seat doesn't fall off again. <laughs> okay, so I just bought a new tail bag. If I knew it was used, I bought it off eBay, but uh, I just needed a, a different one. So it's actually the Kawasaki OEM tail bag for this bike. It's hard to find any new ones, so I, I just bought a used one. I got a super good price on it. I paid uh, just 50 bucks for it, used. He had it listed at 70 or best offer, so I just offered him 50 and he took it. As a result, I got the bag in and he had listed it as excellent condition no tears no rips and when i received the bag it showed it had a huge rip there's like so it goes around the outside of the seat and then in the bottom it velcros underneath the seat to hold it in place well the velcro had become the stitching it was giving out so it was torn so i sent the guy a message he had 100 or like 90 he had like 99.6 percent positive feedback which is important when I buy stuff off of eBay I always make sure that they got good feedback make sure I'm not getting any sort of shaft in terms of the, a used product basically he apologized he didn't he said he missed it I missed it in the in the pictures when I went back and looked I did see it in the picture later you could see a little bit of the frailing of the stitching so you know honest I think it was an honest mistake he uh, he offered to take a return on it if I wanted to return it or if I wanted to keep the bag he would offer me a partial refund since I like the bag it fits well I decided I'll just take the partial refund and then just try to restow the stitch stitching back on so I didn't ask I didn't tell him how much he offered me 30 bucks so basically I got this bag for 20 bucks that I need uh, to put a couple stitches in so I'll take it but I uh, I just felt like it had great potential, so that's why I kept the kept it. So, so I got the new tail bag. It's pretty nice. I know it's not very interesting to you, but I like it. I bought a new tank bag as well. I've received the actual tank bag, but it didn't come with a crucial crucial part that it needs for it to work. It's uh, non-magnetic, so it's it's called a GV tank lock system. So basically, you unscrew a couple of the bolts of the the tank cap. And then there's a mount that goes on top of the tank and you bolt into it and then the tank bag just locks into it so it's not anywhere touching your the body of your your motorcycle and i ordered the tank bag but it didn't come with a the locking mechanism that connects to your tank those are specific to your brand of bike so i had to buy that separately and i didn't realize that until i received it so it should have been here actually probably yesterday it should have been here but it got delayed and then I looked today and it said it's out for delivery but it uh, it never was delivered to my house so either I got I, I assume being that it's 6:30 that it should have been there already but I don't know it's fucking detour blows motorbikes motorbikes detour left here we go oh traffic 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 sucks my balls I should have just taken the highway tell you a story at this intersection one time when I was like 17 18 or 19 years old I forget exactly how old I was but I was around that age I was sitting back there waiting for the light to turn and I seen a car coming up on me really fast and I knew it wasn't gonna be able to stop so I swerved out of the way and the car swung right by me and we're gonna excuse me coming through coming through pardon me Let's see if this dude gets a little butt hurt for doing that all right, we are back on Yellow Creek Road. We made the detour. Quack, 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 quack. 
the one downside of freaking putting your camera right in the center of your helmet right where the wind blows in is I feel like I get a ton of bugs that hit my camera right there when I used to have oh, let's not hit that when I used to have the drift and it was on the side of the helmet it was like I rarely ever had bugs I mean you would get the occasional bug but it was uh, it was a rarity for sure that guy had like the shortest shorts on roll riding you guys got to check out this girl in this Nissan Rogue in front of me. I think she's got a Cavs jersey on. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Alrighty guys, we are almost there to bike night. We are probably going to see 650 Eve there. He sent me a text yesterday asking if I was coming tonight. So he's probably going to be here tonight. Not sure what bike he's bringing. Also going to meet up with Danimal. Uh, another guy that I know. He bought a Chinese adventure bike and has put an ass ton of miles on it. I mean, an ass ton. And he says it's it's great. It's kind of cool. And he's he recommends it. It was actually got it a super good deal. He ended up putting some modifications to it to add some more durability, which cost him a little bit of coin, but I think he said overall it's still way cheaper than he would have paid for a Japanese Supermoto or something. He's got the mileage to prove that it works, so it's kind of a cool little thing. God damn, seems like a lot of bikes. Later. Yeah, I want to give you that. Thank you, man. Stickers, I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Take it easy. Subscribe to 650 Eve. No, subscribe. God damn it. <laughs> subscribe to Throttle Lock, alright? <laughs> Take it easy, Eve. We'll see you. Man, what is up with these roads and the fucking tar snakes all over them? What the hell? Alright, he's, he's fucking going. I like it. Dude, it is Bugapalooza! My fucking face shield is covered, which means my camera is probably covered. Let's see. I don't know. I don't see anything. I was just taking a picture because I'm doing a scavenger hunt and they wanted the bike with the flashing lights, so if you were curious. Okay. Alright, have a good day, sir. Alright, Wheelins Motor Vlog, that was for you.